What's going on everybody? Thank you for checking back in. For those of you who are new, my name is Dave with everything in between. So real quick, I ran out of trimmer line. I ran out of trimmer line on my the 80 volt uh, trimmer. Okay, uh, before you do this, remove the battery. Freak, happen, freak accidents happen every day, so you don't want to mess with this turning on on accident. Uh, just so you know, the 40 volt, do not use anything bigger than the 0 .08 uh, trimmer, the thickness trimmer line. And on the 80 volt, don't use anything more than the point, uh, 0 .095 uh, trimmer. This is the one I use for the 80 volt trimmer. Also, on the 40 volt, don't go more than 13 feet long on your trimmer. So stay around 11, 10 or 11, just to be on the safe side. And on the 80 volt uh, trimmer, do not use more than 10 feet because the diameter is thicker, so it uses uh, less. So no more than 10 feet. And if you don't know how much to use, get a tape measure and just do a relaxed, okay? You don't have to go like this or anything like that. Just do a relaxed. Okay, this is not my arm length, but I'm not trying to get the most out of it, right? So I'm at around 5'2", okay? So I'm gonna say about 10 or, or five feet right there, all right? So one, one good width is gonna be five feet. So I'll do two of those, all right? And I'll just do a little bit less since you don't wanna go more than 10 feet on the spool. So let me get 10 feet out and I'll be right back. Actually, I'm gonna just do this, okay? Throw it on the floor, all right? So there is my five and probably a little bit less. I don't wanna go too much, all right? So this is my 10 feet and then we're gonna get some snips or something and cut this off, all right? And then on your trimmer, so you have on the bumper, and then on the housing, you have an arrow here, right? And then you have an arrow, where's that? On the housing. All right, you need to turn this counterclockwise until the two arrows meet up. You see that? Okay. And then you get one in, All right? You put it in, and then it should come right out the other side. All right, so... A tip if so this is the bumper so just like those arrows are starting to disappear that arrow may start to disappear or may be really really hard to tell where it's at uh, here's a tip on if this thing starts disappearing on you and you can't see where the arrows are lining up you see that little that little entrance that little entryway right there keep turning this counterclockwise until you can see a little entrance on the plastic just like that right so when you see that I'm gonna put it in right into there just like that you see how that's going in okay that'll make it easier so when you come out the other side okay you're gonna look at it all right so if it gets stuck okay just kind of go the next round let it pop okay and you'll see it come out the other end just like that okay if you have to use this to go back and forth and let it pop out that hole but that's it now you just make sure you get even lengths so just like your shoelaces right you're going to make sure you get even lengths all right so i'm putting them the two tips together and stretching them till it's even now there's an arrow or there's an arrow on there it's going to disappear the more bumps you go but it's counterclockwise so you hold the base and you just keep doing this just keep turning it all right so if it stops and it doesn't go anymore and this is way too much and it just cut off Make it about 
five to seven inches on each side okay that's it that's pretty easy so remember 40 volt no more than 0 0.08 inches thick of the trimmer line no longer than 13 feet and then on the 80 volt um, no more than the point zero nine five point yeah point zero nine five on the thickness on the 80 volt and no longer than 10 feet so using the measuring tape will give you a good idea of how many arm lengths you can use for the length do a little bit shorter if you have to just to be on the safe side uh, because then you'll you'll get all the excess and if you don't like wasting then it's going to annoy you so rather have a little bit less than having way too much and then you cut it and you lose it so anyway uh, hopefully this helped uh, hopefully you like the video if you like to give it a thumbs up if you did not like the video let me know by giving it a thumbs up subscribe if you can it helps out a lot leave a comment down below uh, how hard do you think it is to change this out I don't know is it I think it's better than having to rip it apart and use a little spring and and doing all that stuff this does take a little bit of muscle uh, holding the base in holding the base and, and pushing and turning uh, but it is what it is right so anyway hope you're having a good day doing whatever it is you do we'll catch you on the next one until then peace